Hello everyone, my name is Sony Salamarti, son of Kalamutu. Today I have here with me a very important guest in the studio. I'd like you to introduce you to Mr. Derek Yeo from Video Lifestyle. Now he is also passionately known to us as the Video Cobra. Mr. Cobra sir, can you tell our very excited viewers today about this revolutionary camcorder that is uh, from Sony that is, is going to be taking the DSLR industry by storm. Yes, I have here what is essentially the new NX cam from Sony, the NEX FS100. Now this camera is obviously Sony's reply to Canon's 5D Mark II, the 7Ds and the 60Ds, um, including all the other DSLRs. Now the significant difference of the NEX FS100 is its full functionality as a video camcorder as well as maintaining the 35mm cinematic feel and shallow depth of field look. The camera shoots in 50i, 50p, 25p in full high definition, 1920-1080 in the AVC HD Kodak. Now, for those who are concerned, there is also the option, of course, of down convert into standard definition in MPEG-2. Very well. What can you say about the advantages of the NEX FS100? Now, say perhaps example if you were to compare it with the Panasonic AF102. Well, first and foremost is, is the sensor size. Now, being a Super 35mm means a much larger sensor than uh, for example, the AF-102, which is from Panasonic. Now, that is a 4 3rd inch sensor as well as, uh, first of all, the ability to record up to 28 megabits per second, which is also an extra advantage over 21 megabits, for example, uh, with the AF-102. Uh -uh. So, uh, are you saying the FS-100 is the better camera than the AF-102? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm not saying the FS-100 is a better camera than the AF-102. As a matter of fact, I think there is no one perfect camera in my opinion. Uh, as an example, the single SD slot, uh, the lack of a built-in ND filter. Now, uh, the FS100, is, uh, that, that is one missing feature. So, if one finds that this is a priority to them, perhaps the Panasonic AF102 is your better choice of camcorder. Now, in the case, of course, for Sony, in the recording duration, Sony obviously hopes to tempt the FS100 user in purchasing their optional FMU128 flash storage. Now, this allows up to 10 hours of continuous recording. Now, at the same time, uh, the fact that it has only one SD slot, uh, you can actually do simultaneous recording, which means uh, recording onto the SD card as well as onto the FM128U. I noticed the camcorder has a very unorthodox shape. Now, what can you comment about this unusual ergonomics that uh, Sony has actually uh, developed on this camcorder? <laughs> yes, indeed it does. And I think that on the contrary, it might look a little odd at first. But Sony has actually cleverly uh, thought out quite a few things, you know, as far as the, the camcorder is concerned. For example, if you were to take a closer look, the... Uh, Three and a half inch LCD screen flips in all directions, as well as flat onto the modular unit. Now this allows for low angle and also even discrete recording. There is no EVF, but Sony has again cleverly provided you a EX3 snap-on look-alike tube. Now converting the extra fine high resolution three and a half inch LCD screen into a very reliable and usable EVF. Uh, one other thing I'd like to point out is uh, the interesting feature is the placement of the recording buttons. Now, one is found at the top of the unit, very conveniently found. Um, so if the camera is, for example, mounted on a tripod, uh, that would be where you will press the recording button. Uh, the other um, button is found towards the right portion of the unit just behind the lens. Now, if you hold the unit, especially in a cradle-like manner, this is really useful. The last recording option, of course, is on the grip, uh, if you should typically handheld, giving you a very Hasselblad feel. 
And uh, that is not all. If you take a good look at the camera, the options of quarter and three eight inch screw holes are found everywhere. Top, bottom, and even on the handle of the camera. I find especially very interesting, of course, when you remove the grip, uh, which you can actually do so, allows you to mount the camera with its existing screw hole on its side for shooting video in a digital signage orientation. Now, and I think this is a very intelligent option, well thought of by the engineers uh, from Sony. So, Mr. Cobra, in terms of buttons and functions, can you tell us more about the FS100 in this particular area? Sure. Now, if you look very carefully to the left side of the FS100, you will find the usual switches and uh, buttons, for example. Let me just quickly run you through with that. Towards the front, uh, just behind the lens, uh, of course, uh, this is where you find the iris button, the iris dial, and also the one push iris. Now, the other button, of course, is the expanded focus button. And uh, um, on this area, in this area, again, you will find the auto or manual focus switch. So this is to set the camera either into autofocus uh, mode or a, a manual focus. And it also has, of course, the one push, uh, one push autofocus. Now, on the body itself, um, you will find six assignable buttons, right? The other thing you find is, of course, the gain switches, the white balance, and also the shutter speed buttons. The S and Q or slow and quick motion switch for over cranking and under cranking is in full HD mode. The gain toggle, um, low, medium and high, this is quite standard in all the Sony camcorders. The white balance preset switch and of course the select execution dial. Towards the back, the auto and manual switch to put the camcorder either into full auto mode and also into a manual mode. The status check, now this is really very interesting. The status check provides you a host of information on the current settings of your camcorder. Now as usual, of course, uh, like since, uh, since the, Z the Z1, uh, of course the picture profile buttons up to six individual profiles. Now the display button, the display button of course is to turn off and on uh, information on the LCD screen. This is to of course help you remove cluster for perhaps better composition and so on and so forth. In terms of connectivity, there is of course a USB port. Now um, the, the one good thing is uh, there is no SDI out uh, but the uh, FS100 has an uncompressed 422 HDMI output with embedded time coding. Now, this means uh, for those who actually already perhaps own uh, external nano flash recorder, for example. The camera is also powered by the ever popular NP970 batteries. So giving you up to an incredible six hours of recording time. Now this is the same battery that you, you have, you, you use since the, the Z1s, the, the Z5, the Z7. So if you own any one of these camcorders, you know, you don't have a problem. You, you can use the same batteries on the NEX FS100. In terms of audio options on the FS100, now, this is a very interesting and important, of course, for the most professional uh, videographers and cinematographers. So, what can you tell us about the options or audio options on the FS100? Uh, well, there, there are two professional XLR inputs built onto the body of the FS100. Now, this means there's no protruding XLR unit like most camcorders do. Uh, Sony also supplies you a shotgun, the ECM XM1 microphone. Uh, there is unfortunately no onboard microphone. The full audio controls are conveniently found on the top portion of the unit. Now, this includes the auto or manual or AGC uh, controls and as well as built-in phantom power uh, in the particular unit. Fantastic. So, Mr. Cobra, sir, what do you think will be or who do you think will be the targeted audience 
or which category of videographers or filmmakers do you think the NEX FS100 will appeal to? Well, I, I personally believe the FS100 will appeal to a wide spectrum of industry shooters. The, the indie filmmaker, for example, the, the serious hobbyist, the wedding and event videographer, the music video industry, uh, the list goes on. And, and even for those who feel that perhaps splurging on a, on a Sony F3 is perhaps a little too much, they, they can opt for the FS100. Uh, oh, jolly good. Mr. Cobra, sir, I would like to thank you very much again for uh, coming in by our studio and also giving us your very sincere and honest thoughts about this very exciting camera. And uh, of course, uh, me on behalf of Expendo Electronics, we wish to like you, wish you all the best. Uh, my name is Sony Salamati, son of Kalamutu, signing off for another episode of Cinema Look in Bollywood. <laughs>